Assignments, how to create an assignment from the instructor view. Let's begin at your course site. Assignments is not part of the default set of tools. Therefore, you're going to need to add it by clicking on Site Info, Edit Tools. Select Assignments, scroll down, continue, and finish. You should now see assignments listed on your menu. Click it, go to Add. This form will become familiar to you, but what's important to know is that everywhere that you see a red asterisk, you have a required field. So you need to enter a title, the dates, how long you'll accept assignments, etc. We'll walk through filling in these details now. Right here, it's very important that you allow attachments along with inline or attachments only for the student submissions. This is important for improved accessibility. Some students are um, not using a mouse to enter their information and therefore attachments work much better for them. And also it's good to give everybody a chance to have a backup. So we strongly recommend attachments or inline and attachments. In this case, I'm going to attach the instructions to the assignment because I already have the instructions written out. I'm going to add to the calendar and add an announcement. I'm not going to add the assignment to the gradebook and I'm not going to get notification every time a student submits an assignment because I'm going to be checking fairly regularly. I'm going to add an attachment and I'm going to browse to my desktop where I have my assignment instructions. And I just click continue and it again will return me back to review everything on my assignment. There's my attachment and I'm going to post. You have the option to save as a draft which just means it won't show up in the students list but you'll see it. So there's my reaction paper. It shows the open and close date. I can go into edit. I want it to open now and I'll post it. And then just want to show you that this tells you how many have come in, how many are new, the grading scale, and if you want to remove the assignment, you click that little button and update. All right, now I'm going to add a couple more assignments doing exactly as I just did. Let's add a final assignment. We're going to add a term paper, fill out the form. This time it's going to be 50 points. Uh, attach the information. I'm going to add to the schedule an announcement and an honor pledge. I'm going to grab my term paper instructions and attach it. One last review. Looks good. I'm going to post. And here are all my assignments, but it's not exactly in the order that I'd like it to be in. So if you look at the top, there's a reorder option. You're going to click it and using the arrows to the left or way over on the right, you see position, you can reorder those assignments as you like. You can also look at the student view just generally to see what the student will see. And so she'll download the document and then upload a document in return. Then you'll refresh and if you get stuck you can always click on the context sensitive help that jumps us right to the assignments overview and we can click through and get more information there. In summary, when you see an asterisk it denotes a required field. Think about allowing students to submit attachments for their assignments because it helps all students. And then scan your on-screen options. There's a lot of information there and use help when you get stuck. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other Sakai tutorials.